Order on your famous delivery app. Some questions tonight about school safety in Columbia County. Parents want to know why law enforcement was not informed of two potential threats. The first, a 13-year-old Greenbrier middle school student facing charges for making terroristic threats. We're not going to read the full text from the student because it's a little too graphic, but it describes wanting to shoot a fellow student. The I-team also found another case at Columbia Middle where the sheriff's office says they should have been immediately informed. Our Sloan O'Cone is live for us at Greenbrier Middle School tonight with what parents have to say about all this. Well, it's no surprise parents here are frustrated. I spoke to one Columbia County dad whose friend's daughter died in the Parkland school shooting, and he says these are some of the signs that we should never ignore. It just makes my stomach turn because if it can happen in Parkland, it can happen anywhere. These are all the signs that were there in Parkland that everybody ignored. Columbia County father James Stupek says signs like this worry him, especially for his sophomore daughter. You know, my kids are, are getting older. I'm not looking at a you know, full 12-year uh, schooling anymore, but I'm glad I'm not. A lot of frustration from a lot of parents after a 13-year-old at Greenbrier Middle was arrested for making terroristic threats, alluding to killing a specific student in a school shooting. But the school police officer didn't report it to the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. Instead, the victim's mom did, something the Sheriff's Office says is a violation of their memorandum of understanding with the district on how to handle campus crimes, an agreement that's been in place since 2013. It's very upsetting. It's very alarming that law enforcement wasn't immediately called. We also uncovered a second report at Columbia Middle from earlier this month. The sheriff's office says they were not contacted when a dead list in a student's journal surfaced. It had numbers, not names. The school didn't deem it a threat and said the student was autistic and was interested in the military. The sheriff's office says that should have been their call to make. Eventually, they agreed and did not charge the student. But in both cases, step would be glad someone called law enforcement, even if it wasn't the school. What would have happened if the victim's uh, mother would not have contacted the sheriff's office? You know, would this, would this be a story? Would we know about it? Um, and that, that's what bothers me the most, is that maybe it would have fell through the cracks intentionally. The district released this statement saying safety of students and staff is a top priority and threats of any nature are not tolerated. School administrators are expected to appropriately report any violation of the law to local law enforcement. And they also tell us that they did not violate the memorandum of uh, the memorandum of understanding with the sheriff's office. But the sheriff's office maintains they did. We put the MOU on our website for you to decide. Fair enough, Sloan. That's certainly not the kind of thing parents want to have to worry about as this brand new school year is just getting underway. Thanks for the live update there from Columbia County. An incredible reunion, more than 70 years in the making. It all started with an American soldier and three small kids meeting.